Hello and welcome to Knit and Deb's Nook where it's not just about yarn anymore. Today I'm uh, going to be opening my very first Diamond Art Club um, diamond painting and it's round. It's got rounds not squares and it is the Wells to Salvation or of Salvation by Mandy Manzano licensed so this, this is my very first Diamond Art Club, so I thought I would share it. I'm excited. I've never thought I would um, jump in and do this, but I did. Well, first right out is the um, toolkit. I got a clear boat, some baggies, a squishy, and a basic um, pen and some, oh, um, one heart-shaped wax in the kit that you get. Oh, there's a, oh, there's more in here. Cute little, nice little bag. Um, Ziploc. So there is another heart-shaped wax and a three-placer for the pen. Oh, I needed another one of those because I'm a hard pusher and I've worn one out and I just got a new diamond pen for the brand new one. So this is nice. I might as well show that to you right away. This is from Jim's Handmade Pens. Isn't that beautiful? It's wood and it's uh, perfectly shaped for that. And if I want to flip it, it flips real e easy because it's uh, well balanced. But I am using in for... Um, wax I'm using from Dollar Tree is called Jot Poster Tack and it works great. I've had this in for days and it's still working. But that's my new pen from Jim's Handmade Pens on Etsy. Okay back to this. So that's the kit, your basic kit that you get and oh my What's in there? Oh, my sticker and key code, my color list. Isn't that beautiful? And I guess these are stickers I can put on my containers um, that I'm working on. Nice. That's a plastic bag. This thing is big. Very big. How exciting! Of course, they had tempted me right away. They said some new things came out, and they I had a twenty percent off because I was a new user. So I ordered a second one. <laughs> so that'll be coming soon. Oh, oh! And I hear people talk about how soft. The canvas is, it is, it's, oh, what do I want, Can like moleskin, kind of. So, here's the extra covering paper they send you, and the drills, oh, oh, look at all those beautiful colors, and there's an instruction book, step by step instructions. Is, I'm sorry if I don't get everything on camera. This is new to me filming from this area. So there's uh, instructions and the cover paper if, for those that don't like the plastic covering. Um, I may cut this up into pieces because um, the plastic, I don't mind it because I I've always used, done on the um, poured glue with the plastic. This thing is huge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm for sure gonna have to roll this one. It is 22 inches by 39 inches. That's the biggest one ever done. Oops, turn my light pad on. Oh my goodness. 
Look at that purples and blues there. Oh, and the oranges. Oh, I love orange. There's some flowers. Oh, oh my, this is so pretty. And the canvas is sparkly under, underneath it's sparkly even. Oh, now I see why everybody enjoys Diamond Art Club so much. So there is a color list on this, uh, the right bottom, and then there's one at the top left. I think might be backwards for you. I'm like, maybe not. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so huge. So I'm gonna have to roll it while I work on it. I might start at the top this time because um, so as I work I can roll it that way um, before diamonds are on. So look at the detail in Jesus' face. I know you can't see that well, but it'll bring it, try to bring it up. So you'll be able to see that he has a face. There's so many colors. How many colors are there? 50 colors? Oh my goodness. Do what makes you sparkle, sparkle, Diamond Art Club. Oh my. Oh, I have to get this one started right away because I am out, I'm out of um, paintings. So this one came just in time and my daughter was here for the weekend. So I didn't get to um, do my unboxing. I wanted to wait to do it on on uh, here since it's my really my first unboxing as a diamond painter. I've done lots of yarn unboxing. Sorry for the crinkle. Look at oh oh look at the three bags of white 3865. Oh I have to get me one of those covers. This is just a, a, a lid I taped over there. Oh my, 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 my. Oh, oh my goodness, look at those blues. Oh, oh I love this color. Oh, 38.54. <gasps> Look at this big, long train of diamonds. It goes by the littlest amount, so a little bit of pink per there. Oh, there's a pink in my blue. 601. I know this isn't how everybody else does it. Go oh, there's ABs right here. 129 the yellow ABs. I know there's supposed to be um, another AB in here. I didn't. Guess I missed it. How many bags of black? One, two, three, four, five bags of three ten. <laughs> Where is the other bag of ABs? Which color? Right here. Oh, oh 131. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love these colors. I just love them. <laughs> This is, this makes me very happy. Pink. <laughs> so I'm excited to get, get started on this, but I wanted to show you something else I've gotten. This is from a serial art printer, art, art craft printer. And it is a tray stacker and the trays you take your trays. It's best to have them all the same color. I have two two whites that, um, but you put the symbol on a label on the tag. See, they, they come plain. 
they're just little plugs like this. I don't know if I can get that close enough. So you can put a label on there and it plugs the um, funnel on your basic trays and then you can put a label on there. He does make them with a um, surface that you can use um, wipe and erase, so, uh, dry erase, that you can write the dry erase symbols on there. And they just stack in here really nice. So you can do multiple colors in here. So that's um, one of the nifty things I got from his shop. And he's um, on Facebook, Serial Craft Printer. And some more items I got were this is an extra large tray. That'll be when I do all those three tens and and whites. But uh, and then this size, that's the large, and he has a lid, makes a lid, fits right on there. If I'm not nervous about filming, and so then you can pour it back into your baggies or or funnel, whatever you need. But they stack. They've got little tabs, and they stack. So here's another extra large and stack, stack them, stack them. I can do this easy if I'm not filming. And then they're little ones, the small, which is really nice for um, if you've got the little small bits of colors like this little bit of 209, that'll work nice for that. But they also stack. Come on, I can do it. They stack on there. So isn't that nice? It keeps every all your trays nice and in one spot. I'm real happy with um, their stuff. They're fast serving. They um, have places in different countries. So mine comes from New York. I'm in Wisconsin, so it, it takes less than a week to get here. And um, he threw in this nice little... Um, straightener which is really nice I've been using a um, putty knife from the Dollar Tree which is nice when I'm doing a whole canvas up and down the streaks but this is nice when I'm doing just so, small sections sections of um, straightening but I think that's all the goodies I have to show you but um, Jim's handmade pens and he has uh, resin ones also. I like the lightness of wood and I like the warmth of wood. So I would recommend that. And he makes them so the tips are um, replaceable with the tips from your basic um, pink pen type thing. In, you know, like this, you can pull that out with the pliers and replace tips, which is nice. And the, and the placers. Oh, another thing I picked up at Dollar Tree was this it's in the school supplies and it's a nice place to put my um, pens and straightener and other gadgets so I'm trying to get organized here because I have I work at the kitchen table because I don't have a surface um, area big enough yet I would wouldn't mind getting a drafting table but for now that's it's the dining room table which is always a mess of my diamonds so Anyway, I, I'm so happy with this. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's just so gorgeous. That'll be in my, once I get it done, I may put that above the mantle, possibly. It'd be nice in my entryway when people come into my home, too. But this is my first um, Diamond Art Club, my first Mandy Manzano, and it'll look like stained glass with all them three tens dividing the colors. So I'm going to let you go, and I'm going to start getting this kitted up, and I will maybe do some progress on it, but I for sure will post on my Instagram account um, completed items or my Facebook, so please follow me, like, and subscribe, and um, happy crafting.